Okay, so we're back to it. So we are live now. I had a little bit of problems on YouTube for a minute there. And hopefully you can hear me now. So if you're joining the live chat on YouTube, let me know if you can hear me. Um, hopefully everything's working fine now. So yes, you can hear me. Awesome. Good. Nothing ever goes as planned. You're right, David. Hello, you're from uh, Kansas. Hello, how are you? So yeah, that's true. Nothing ever goes as planned. Uh, I like you show. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <coughs> um, so... Uh, good news today. I got a piece of mail in my P.O. box, and I was so happy. Someone, Fernando, sent me a piece of mail, a letter, just telling me that he likes the show. So I really appreciate that. You don't know how good it makes me feel when I get a letter like that. Um, just something simple, handwritten note, just telling me to like the show, and it really makes my day. It, it brightened up my day. So thank you so much to that, Fernando, if you're watching. So I really appreciate it. I do plan on making a um, sending a letter back to him as well. So hi from Nebraska. Hi. Hi from Melbourne, Australia or Melbourne. Well, Melbourne, Australia. That's how you would say it, right? Um, yep. Uh, from Florida. Cool. I was in Florida a couple weeks ago. Uh, what are you doing for Easter? So as far as cooking wise, what we're going to be making today is we're going to be making something so simple. It is a it's jello cups. Now, I'm going to need your help on deciding what kind of cups we're going to put this into. Let me move that out of the way. So we have choices. I might be able to put in a few different things. So this is one of the cups we're going to use, I think. And we're going to layer it. We're going to make some jello, just regular vanilla jello, <coughs> jello pudding. I still have a bad cough, so sorry. Regular jello pudding. We're going to color it three or four different colors. You're going to help me decide on the colors. Um, then we're going to put them in layers. So one color, another color, another color, or so on and so forth. Um, I think this one would be a good one. We also have this little mini wine glass. That's pretty good, I think, as I'm dropping things. Uh, we have this, which is, um, it's just shaped like so. Um, and this one is slightly different than this one. As you can see, it has kind of a, a lower end on this side and it goes higher on that end. Um, just, we might be able to fill them all, I don't know. How's your day, if you may ask? Well, it's going good. Uh, like I said earlier, I have received a piece of mail from someone who watches the show, and it was really good. It was really nice. This, uh, the glasses, these are actually plastic, so that's the good news. So when I drop them, it doesn't mess up. <laughs> um, so, yeah, those are cute. Thanks. You like the wine glass one? That's what someone said over on uh, Facebook. Good afternoon. Um, so let's see. How's everyone? Uh, wine glass. A couple different people said wine glass. Uh, so we'll call this um, dessert glass, wine glass. Uh, then what names are we going to come up with these? We'll say odd shaped glass. And then even glass. I don't know. So a couple of different people said put in the wine glass. So what we'll do, what kind are you making? Uh, we're going to be making just regular vanilla pudding, but we're going to be coloring it different colors. So wine glass with the stem. That's what a couple of people have said. And uh, definitely going to use the wine glass because quite a few people want the wine glass. So we're definitely going to do that. We, I'm pretty sure we'll, we might be able to do all of them, but we'll see the odd shaped glass, which is this one. Someone said, the odd shaped glass, dessert glass. Oh yeah, the dessert glass. Uh, dessert glass will be number two, I think. So we have wine glass number one, dessert glass number two, and we should have enough left over to do at least the odd shaped glass. And if we still have more, we'll put it in here. Uh, Kyler, it's going great, buddy. So you see what you're making today, cool. So then if we have enough left over, we'll put it in this glass. And if we have more left over, we'll put them in cups. Uh, we'll figure it out, right? All right, so what do you say we get to making this? Um, I want to angle my cameras down. And I already actually have my hot plate on, which what are the peeps for? That's what this is for. You're going to see soon. Uh, yeah, you saw the peeps in the background over here. Um, yeah, they're for this. So, okay, to make this, just read the instructions. If you use a cake box mix, or I call it a cake box mix, but a jello box mix, Read the instructions. This says just start off with two cups of milk. 
So I already have two cups measured out. Put in a medium pan. <coughs> then it says to stir in this package into the milk. And we're gonna bring it to a boil, I believe it says. Let's see, bring it to a boil, medium heat. Uh, serve warm or chilled? Doesn't say how long, but um, yeah, it just says bring to a boil. So as soon as it starts boiling, then we'll stop it, I guess. We'll figure it out. So first thing we're gonna do, you're feeling a year older today, Mark Butters. Uh, what are the, um, you saw the peeps on the background and in the thumbnail. Yes, that's right. I did take it with the peeps in the thumbnail. Yeah, keep up with the yummies. Awesome. Yep. So we're just going to stir in this package of pudding. This is just regular vanilla pudding. And I just picked vanilla because I'm going to color them. And I want the color to show through. And I think vanilla is probably the best bet we're going to have. I don't know how this is going to work. I've never tried this before, but we're going to give it a shot. So we're just going to stir this and bring it to a boil. Pile. Uh, you lost my badge, but it's still a top fan. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I don't know what happens with the badges. <laughs> Martha, your name is Jonathan, and you love cooking. Well, awesome, Jonathan. I'm glad you love cooking. You came to the right place every Tuesday night at around 6 p.m. This is, came on a little late today, but 6 p.m. Eastern time, we do a live stream. So right now we're just bringing this to a boil. I gotta crank up my heat here. That's what was happening. Just stirring this in. And since Easter is coming up, I just figured we'd make this Easter theme and this is pretty simple to do. Let me just do that. <coughs> Hello, Shannon on Facebook. Sounds like you're getting and getting over a cold. I wish I was getting over it. It's been going on for months. It's crazy. This cough is, is just, ugh, I cannot get rid of it. I have been to the doctors, though, but they said I have a cough, which I kind of know I do. <laughs> uh, David says, I love peeps. They are so good. Yes, uh, people either love or hate peeps. Write in the comments, do you love peeps or do you hate peeps? Let me know. First time catching you live, Troy says. Oh, yeah, Troy. Oh, there you are. Oh, well, glad you caught me live, Troy. Uh, you love the experiment with food. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't, right? Let's all experiment with food. That's why food should be fun, right? Hey, Debbie, how are you? Uh, we're going to be making a Easter Jello cups. And if you came on late, what we're going to do is everyone decided pretty much we're going to make this. We're making the pudding right now. This is a vanilla pudding. We're going to divide it up after it's made into different colors, which you're going to, you guys are going to help me decide. I think we should use these paisley type colors, but also with yellow. Um, we're going to put it into this little wine glass. Also have this little dessert glass and a couple other glasses. And we're going to make these into a little Easter like dessert just from the colors. But also, we're going to top them off with some peeps. Now, we have different kinds. So, I have blue ones, red ones, or blue, I can't even see colors now. Uh, blue ones, I have pink ones, I have yellow ones. I also have different kinds, too. They have this, I had to get them, cotton candy peeps. So, we're going to try some cotton candy peeps. Now, I figured I'll decorate it by putting a peep, like, on top of there after the jello has been filled. Hey, Nick, how are you? So, yeah, so we're going to do all that and blue and yellow peeps, people said. Okay, so we have to decide on the color of our jello, too. Now, I'm just making my jello. This is just a regular instant jello. This isn't anything special. We're not doing anything crazy. It's a live stream. <laughs> Some people said hate peeps. I, yep, always love peeps. Some people. Yo, yo, Max. Hey, Tammy, how are you? How are you doing? Live stream on Facebook, YouTube at the same time. Ah, trick question. Here's how I'm doing it. I'll even show you a little glimpse. See that? <laughs> Maybe. That's my phone up there doing the live stream on Facebook. And right here is my laptop. 
So that's how I'm doing it at the same time. Uh, you can use software, different software to do it that way, but I've tried it in the past. And the problem with that is I don't get to see comments and, or the comments are so delayed that I don't get to answer them like five minutes delayed. And that's no good. I do a live stream because I want to interact with people. I, I want people to give me suggestions on how to make things like what color to dye things or stuff like that. And if I'm doing a live stream and people can't react in time, then it's not going to be a good live stream. So I, that's why I'm doing it with my cam or my phone on Facebook and my laptop on YouTube um, because I want your input. I want you guys to help me decide on how to make these Easter Jello cups. And we've decided on the wine glass is the first thing we're gonna fill up. And we'll have enough to fill up more things. Then we'll do the dessert glass and all these other glasses. Um, but right now we're just making the instant pudding vanilla. We're gonna divide it up in I think three or four different colors. So now we're gonna help help me decide on the colors so we can get that all sorted out can you just mix the pudding or you do need to boil it um i was just reading the instructions on the back of the pudding mix and it says to bring it to a boil so i'm just doing that it's a very very simple thing so just doing what the instructions say every package might have different instructions depending on the kind that you have or the kind you're making but yep same color as the peeps. Ah, good suggestion, someone says. So yellow, I do have yellow. Uh, pink, this is like a paisley pink, so that's good. Uh, now the blue, I do have blue. I could do blue as well, but I have choices here. We have purple, we have, this is a teal blue. It's not really this color blue, but I do have a blue I can make instead. Where is it? I had a blue, I don't know what I did with it. Oh, it went over here. <laughs> so I have a blue. So someone said the same color as the peeps. So it'll be three colors if we do that. Could you use instant? Yes, and we are using instant actually. So it's starting to thicken up a little, almost out of boil. Live streams I like to keep nice and simple, so instant pudding comes in good handy. <laughs> Make blue, it looks way cooler. That's what, okay. Red and blue, that's what uh, Charmaine says. Hi, Nether hey, Netherlanders. Uh, go check them out. Cool people right there. Um, we hung out at Epcot together. And do that just so you're a little more visible there, Netherlanders. Made you mod. All right, so now it's come to a boil. This is just instant pudding, instant vanilla pudding. So now I'm turning off my heat. It'll thicken up as it cools down. I'm just keeping mixing this right now. The hot plate's really hot, so I'm going to move that out of the way, but I'm going to do that in a special way. Let me get my gloves. All right, so let's move some stuff out of the way so that I don't burn myself. <laughs> no problem. All right, let's pull that off and get this hot thing out of the way. Okay, yeah, let's do this for now. And luckily I don't have pets, so I don't have to worry about putting something on the floor that's hot. Let's do this. I'm just gonna put this out here so we have something to work with. All right, so this is our instant pudding. We're going to divide this up into different colors. So I'm going to do three or four. How many different colors should we do? Three or four. <coughs> Someone says four colors. James, do you like people record game playing? Um, I don't watch too many game player uh, stuff, but it's very popular, especially on YouTube and Twitch. A lot of people are saying four. It looks like we're going four colors. Wow. We have to, we have the same refrigerator. Awesome. LG. <laughs> All my appliances are LG. Uh, years ago when I redecorated my um, kitchen, I made everything LG just to make it all look neat. Oh, the baking DV. Are you cooking instant pudding? Yes, I did instant pudding overheat. 
It, I know it doesn't seem weird. It seems weird, but it it works. Um, <laughs> so we got, we're going to do it in four different colors because that's what everybody does. So I'm going to divide this as evenly as I possibly can. It's not going to be much in each one. And here we go. And oh yeah, I still have to save some in them. So we got three different on here and I have some inside this pot. All right, so let's see. What are the four colors we're gonna do? Have we decided on the blue yet? So. We're pretty much sure we're going to do yellow. We're going to do pink. Now, out of the blue, you have to decide. Do we do regular blue? Do we do teal blue? Or do we do purple and go totally out of the way? So you can either comment blue, teal, or purple. Someone says teal. Try one with all four colors in the layers. Oh, that's a pretty good suggestion. Someone says purple. A couple people said purple. Regular blue, teal blue. Hmm. Hello, new. Hello. Uh, Neverlander say purple. Lots of purple on uh, YouTube, actually. A lot of people are saying purple. So blue, teal, and purple. Uh, so some people are going, oh, so blue, purple. Oh, lots of purple. We might have to do purple instead of blue. Hmm. But teal is a close second. So I don't know. Teal is the best. Ooh. So we have yellow, pink. We have, actually, we have four colors. That's right. So we can do teal and purple. Ah, so yeah, there we go. So blue is out. Regular blue is out. That's the one out. So we're going to do teal and purple. All right, so here we go. Now, yellow is pretty easy, right? It's pretty much yellow anyway. Um, we don't even have to dye that, to be honest with you. <laughs> we can make a brighter yellow, maybe. Um Let's go with pink. We'll do this pink right here. Let's hope it changes to a good color pink. Mix this up. Not bad. Not bad. And as this cools down, it'll thicken up even more. But just want to mix this up really good. There we go. So there's pink. Now we'll do teal and let's go teal blue in this one. Let's we'll save that one for purple, maybe that for yellow. <laughs> um, hey, Dylan, how are you? Glad you're here. Dolan, I should say. Um, mix this up. This is the teal. Might have to use more teal just to get the right color. It's doing okay though. There we go. How about no yellow? That's what someone says. <laughs> Sounds like. Monty Python, blue, no yellow. <laughs> um, James, I would like to recommend you try watching my channel, and yeah, maybe. Um, cool. So what's the other one color? We got, uh, Purple, right? So I guess we'll do purple this one. And here we go. Let's put in some purple. And mix that up. And then we got to divide it into these other things. Uh, you want to ask me something, Nick? Go ahead and ask away. We're going to mix this up. Like I said, today is a pretty good day. I went to my P.O. box. I also mailed something to a friend. Um, 
I got my PO box and someone had a really nice letter in my PO box and it really made my day. So thank you so much. Uh, Fernando actually sent it handwritten letter and it was just really nice to get. So thank you to everyone who's ever sent me anything in my PO box. That's really cool of you. Um, it's so nice seeing those letters, postcards people have sent before. It's just really cool. Um, it's nice seeing that. Nice seeing that people enjoy watching the videos. So we got our four colors. We didn't even need to do the yellow because it is yellow. So I'll move this out of the way. I'll move these out of the way for now. Um, let's see. What color should we start with? On Oh, that's right. We're doing the wine glass first. That's right. So this is one of those detachable. Uh, let me move something out of the way. Yeah. Good. Just to get this out of the way a bit. All right, so what color should we start? Uh, yellow, teal, and the wine glass. We're going to do all four if we can. But how should we layer it? Someone sh should we do yellow first at the bottom? So should we go yellow, green, pink, and purple? Or should we go maybe purple, green, yellow, pink? Write in the comments. Let me know what you think and give me the order and we will do our best to fulfill it whoever has the best idea so first one some people say green some people say yellow uh pink purple yellow teal pink purple yellow teal that's a good suggestion there uh on facebook so yellow a lot of people are saying yellow first so why not let's do yellow first i'm just going to take a spoon and dish this out i can use the spoon I can use the spoon that I mixed it with. Now, the hard part is trying to keep it looking nice. <laughs> Just plop. All right. I'm going to put enough in there just so we can see the layers. <laughs> and how much you put in there is really up to you. Might want to put this in the piping bag. It'll probably be easier for me to do this, especially with the other ones. I think it might be easier. It'll keep it from touching the sides. So I'm just mixing this just to get it nice and even as best I can. And I think for the rest of them, I will put them in a piping bag. But for now, we're going to do this. So yellow first. What's the next one? What's the next color we're going to do? So yellows first. Now I'm going to wipe down the sides. Now I'm the only one going to be eating this. So it's okay if my fingers are touching this. <laughs> By the way, I don't think you saw my comment of me asking you something. No, I did not. I heard you say you needed me to ask me something, but I didn't see what the comment was. Um, pink, some people are saying. Teal. Uh, teal, purple. Some people are saying purple next. Uh, some people say dark to light. Well, we start with yellow, so it's probably going to be light to dark. It's going to be dark to light from top down, I guess. So if we do that, so I guess the next lightest thing will be teal. Blue and yellow. So purple. Some people are saying, a lot of people are saying purple, though. So let's see, teal or purple? We'll give you a choice between those two. Teal or purple? What's next? How are you doing, James? I'm doing good. How are you? Uh, can I... <laughs> Come to your house. <laughs> it's funny. Um, let's see. Teal, light to dark. So teal. A lot of people are teal or purple. Oh, it's so close. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll go teal. We're going to go teal next. So we're going to light to dark, it looks like. So I'm just going to pop in some teal in here. And again, you see I'm getting it on the sides because I'm. Uh, if I put these in a piping bag, it'll just make more sense, I think. Probably should put more yellow at the bottom. I think that's good, probably. So we have two more colors to go. So I guess it would be pink and then purple, right? If we're going light to dark. Someone says purple, though. I see all purple. <laughs> Someone says they see all purple. Might get there. We don't know. Are you making Eastern pudding? Yes, we are, Joseph. Um... Can I for real come to your house? That's funny. Um, nope, not really, but 
who knows? Maybe at a meetup or something, I'll bring some food. Maybe VidCon or something like that. Pink or purple? Uh, purple next. A lot of people are saying purple next. So I might have to do a purple and then finish with pink on the top. I know that's not really light to dark or dark to light, but mm, a lot of people want purple. So we got to listen to the people. They know what they're talking about. So we're doing purple now. All right, let's spread that around. Get a nice even as we can. And this is where, like I said, if I used a piping bag, it would be a lot cleaner. Give us a really nice picture at the end, I think. Let me just tap this down. That'll help take that one teal out of the way. <laughs> and then, of course, pink for the top, right? Look at that. Now, is that good? Let's do just a little more. So that's the pink on the top, all right? So we have all of our layers. I'll show you what it looks like. Now, I didn't do a lot of yellow, but it's not bad. Look at that. So all the way around, what's our best side? What do you think? Probably like right here is probably our best side, I think. Um. Now, we're gonna put a peep on top of this. What color peep should we put on there? Now, I'm thinking not the pink one because it won't stand out. I think either blue or yellow, we should put a peep on top there. Uh, people, purple is the best. Uh, uh, blue, since we didn't do blue color. Yeah, that's good. Uh, this is so pretty. Uh, I'm glad you caught this because Easter dessert is going to, yeah, this is going to be Easter dessert. What a cool little dessert. Now, you can, if you're going to make this at home, I suggest at this point you put it in the refrigerator to cool it down. And because if you like it served cold, that's the best thing to do. Plus, it hardens it up. But because I'm making this in a live stream, we won't have time for all that. So we're actually going to. A lot of people are saying blue or yellow. That's the choices we have, I think, for the peeps. A lot of people are saying blue. Yellow for symmetry. Ooh, a lot of people on Facebook are saying yellow, though. Blue's your favorite color. Blue's my favorite color, too. Look, I mean, I'm even wearing a blue chef jacket. All of them. <laughs> blue, lots of blue. Some yellow. You're going to use this for your dog's unicorn. Ooh, unicorn birthday party. That's a perfect, perfect colors for it. Um, we think yellow. So Netherlanders think it's yellow. My friends are yellow. Netherlanders, I can't talk today. Um, a couple weeks ago, we are at Disney's Epcot, walking around. Uh, that vlog will be up maybe on Thursday or, although I didn't vlog very much at Epcot. <laughs> but yeah, um, I did catch a little bit. Uh, ooh, so yellow and blue are so close. Oh, someone said cotton candy one. Oh, I could just go way out of the park and put a cotton candy one in there. This has, it's pink with blue spots, but the pink will kind of drown it out. I don't know. That might not work. <laughs> one of each, someone says. Maybe we'll go blue on this one. The next one will either go yellow, pink, or cotton candy. What do you say? So let's open this thing up. We're doing blue. A lot of people now are like, ooh, cotton candy. Uh, one of each. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have plenty to do another one for sure. Let me open this up. So if you don't know what peeps are, they're marshmallow covered in lots of colored sugar uh, <laughs> on the outside. Well, that's true. You could go on the outside too. You're right. So what do you think? Like this, like that, standing up, could go like that. Kind of have the good side. Yeah, blue one. <laughs> How cute. Oh, before I put this on there, what do you say I put some sprinkles on there first and like it's laying in a bed of like grass or something? <laughs> Save you peeps. Never tried a peep. Oh, yeah, they're really good. They're worth a try. So yes to sprinkles or no. So sprinkles, yes or no. We got some sprinkles here. Now, we could do this a couple different ways. I have green sprinkles that really represents grass. We have blue sprinkles, but we have a blue peep. So... Mm, 
If we do blue sprinkles, we have to go with the yellow peat. Um, let's see, we have white sprinkles. So green, blue, or white. I do have other colors too. Yellow sprinkles, I can get yellow, I have yellow sprinkles. Um, yes to sprinkles. Sprinkles, lots of sprinkles. Uh, what country you live in? I live in the United States. I live in Maryland between Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. Yes, the sprinkles and green. That's what someone says on Facebook. A lot of people are saying green. I think that's really good because it represents like grass, I guess. So we're going to put some sprinkles on this. Got to put the sprinkles on. They're hard to come out of there. <laughs> I know I'm making a big mess I'm trying to get sprinkles on this thing. This is just regular vanilla pudding, instant pudding at that. And we just colored it different colors to represent the whole, I'll put it in my hand first and then try to put it where I want it to go. <laughs> Didn't work out that well either. All right, so we just made regular vanilla pudding and we colored it different colors to look like Easter colors. And now we're topping it with sprinkles and a peep. It's like, what do you think? The peep is the cherry on top. You're right. Agree. Whipped cream, then sprinkles. Oh, good call. But mm, too late on this one for the whipped cream. But the next one we could do with whipped cream. What do you guys think? You like that one? So next one, what colors are we going to do? What videos do you usually watch on YouTube? I usually watch cooking videos, obviously. Uh, some uh, family vlogs, mainly from people who are friends of mine. We're going to put that aside. Next one we're going to do is this dessert one. Now, we did that one. We started with yellow on that one. What do you say we start with purple on this one? Because I don't have that much purple anyway. Yes, whipped cream, uh, dark to light. Okay, so we're going to start with purple on this one. And I don't have very much purple left. So we're going to just use up all of our purple. And that's really just how I divided it up. I didn't divide it up very good, but oh well, what are you going to do? I could always take some of the yellow and put in there and here. See if I have enough purple to color this without adding more purple to it. I mean, drop the purple somewhere. Where did it put? Oh, there it is. <laughs> See, that's the best part. Always have extra of the lighter colors because you can always just add more food coloring to that if you need more for whatever reason. Trick of the trade because I've done it many, many times. Where I've made too much of the dark color and then have to make a whole new batch or something. All right, so shake that out, spread that out a little bit. That's good. So we did that. Uh, let's go yellow next. Or let's see. Hmm. We got to finish with. I'd say we finish with teal on the top. What do you say? Teal on the top? We're going to finish with teal? Or do y'all, because we had green second on that one. Or teal, I should say. So let's change it up a little bit. Let's go yellow next. And put yellow on top. And depending on the size of your glasses, the ones that your dishes that you're going to be dishing it out into, this one um, package of the instant jello looks like it's going to make two of these. But that all depends on the size of your, your dessert dish. Still have some leftover yellow, but that's just in case I need it for something else. Like I said, this starts to thicken up even more as it sits out and cools down. 
so it gets harder to flatten out. There we go. <laughs> All right, so now we have that. Now, well, we have to finish with teal on top because this one finished with pink on top. So we have to do pink next, All right? We just have to. So that way we finish with a different color on top. And some of you were saying you want to whip cream on and then the sprinkles. So we could do that. So let me know, should I do whipped cream then sprinkles? And on this one, I think we'll go with maybe yellow sprinkles or white sprinkles, something like that. Okay, so let me just tap that down, clean up that a little bit. And we're gonna finish with the teal on top. Love coconut. Yeah, coconut, good too on top. You can also put like dye the coconut green. Okay, so we're gonna do the teal on top. Spread that out. Make sure it good coverage. There we go. Almost good. Just want to cover everything. Like I said, it starts to thicken up a bit. Longer it takes to do this. Uh, you won't have any problems if you're making it at home because you don't have to record things and <laughs> you just do it. You don't have to worry about getting pictures and all that fun stuff that I have to do. Um, so let's spread that out really good. Try to make it as even as possible. I think that's good. Let me get this stuff out of the way. And move all that. And what should we do? Now we have these kind of peeps. They're pink, but they stand up instead of the pinks like this that are like the bunny just crouching down cotton candy one we could do that we already did the blue so we won't do that again uh, yellow pink or cotton candy uh, we've got to go hey thanks for stopping in the Netherlanders thank you guys go check them out they're a really cool family uh, glad you stopped by so we didn't have enough to make these other ones but that's okay next time we'll do it all right, so what people are we putting on top? Cotton candy. A lot of people are saying cotton candy. I think the cotton candy is probably going to win. But also, are we doing sprinkles on top there? If so, what color? White or blue? I think the blue will probably not do well. And the green won't do well. So it'd be white. I could get, I have yellow sprinkles, I think, too. The bunny one. Um, the stand-up bunny. Like stand up bunny or sit down bunny pink. Stand up or cotton candy. A lot of people are saying cotton candy though. So I think so white sprinkles, uh, white sprinkles and pink bunny. That's what uh, Kathy says over on Facebook. A lot of people are saying cotton candy though. I think cotton candy is going to win. Cotton candy with blue sprinkles. Uh, whipped cream, then sprinkles. We can do that as well. Whipped cream. I think I'm going to go with just regular whipped cream, white whipped cream, because the Reese's one, I don't think it worked well, not color-wise. <coughs> so think about it. We're going to do white whipped cream and then, what, blue sprinkles and cotton candy. So white whipped cream, blue sprinkles, and cotton candy peep. Is that what you guys think? Yes. Lots of people are saying it. no sprinkles, just whipped cream. That's what Tammy says over on Facebook. Uh, and Cool Whip, Cotton Candy, Stand Up Bunny. That's what Nicole says. Cotton Candy Peep. Yes, duh. everyone loves the Cotton Candy Peep, right? I've never had these before. I'll try one on camera in a minute. But all right, so this is what we're doing. Let's open this up. I haven't even opened this up yet. This is a brand new Cool Whip. <laughs> 
Uh, cool Whip, Blue Sprinkles, Cotton Candy. Yeah, I think I'm with you, Heather. That's what we're probably going to do there. Cool Whip, Blue Sprinkles, and Cotton Candy. So we're going to do a little bit of Cool Whip. Try to make it as neat as possible. Blue Sprinkles. Here's the blue sprinkles. Try to get good coverage of the blue sprinkles. It is hard getting out of these. There's little, only three little holes there, but we'll make it work. Could just open the whole thing up and have it pour out like, like a waterfall. Oh, so here we go. We're almost there. All right. So there's our blue sprinkles and cotton candy peeps, right? Let's move all these other peeps out of the way. Looks good. Whipped cream blue cotton candy. Yep. So here we go. So let me put this back in the refrigerator. Alrighty. Now, let's find us a good peep. Oh, smells good. Now, how am I going to do that? Just lay them? Like, let's find a good side. Make sure I get a good the best side for a bit. Oh, that side doesn't look as good. Oh, yeah, let's do that. I think this is a good side right here. Like, maybe that? How's that? <laughs> it does look better. Awesome. Cute. So, you can play with this and have fun with it any way you'd like. I mean, look at these two different ones um really cool different colors same thing though uh make it for your easter dessert it will be lots of fun all right so let me angle the cameras up and i will talk to you guys before we go so hopefully this will how's that much better uh maybe cut them in half and put it on a lip and then the glass yeah true i could do that too cut the peeps in half that would work as well. Um, so let's try one of these. I've never had a cotton candy peep before. So I'm gonna give this a shot while we're on camera. To be honest, it smells a lot like cotton candy, but it really doesn't taste much different than a normal peep. Um, I was expecting more of a flavor uh, because it did smell Smell a lot like cotton candy, but really the flavor is just it's just a slight hint of cotton candy flavor. They're not bad, but I was expecting more flavor. <laughs> Happy Easter to you. All right, so I do need to get some pictures of this before I dig in. So I'm going to turn them around where they face me a bit. I should probably clean off sprinkles and we'll get a couple pictures of these before I dig in then I'll dig into them on camera hopefully that whipped cream will hold up long enough for me to get a couple good pictures it might blind you a minute because the lights but we're getting a couple good pictures I gotta change my ISO and make that darker. So yeah, we're getting a couple of pictures. I like to put these pictures on Instagram, so make sure you're following me on Instagram, and that is at FunFoodsYT. And you'll get to see some pictures. Well, that was a bad picture. It's like I'm a rookie. <laughs> so, probably do a couple, couple more pictures. Um, your family is well trained. They always ask me, "Have you taken the photo before?" Yeah, I know. Uh, whenever I have like family members over, and it's 
it's a new experience for them. They're like, wait, we can't eat yet? No, not yet. <laughs> it's like I have to get the pictures first. Okay. So because of the live stream, this was my only chance to take the pictures. Could have made it ahead of time. But we are going to try some of these out right now on camera. Which one should I try first? So we have our cotton candy topped one, or we have our blue topped one. Which one should we try? <laughs> so let me know, I'm waiting for your responses. So we're gonna try one of these. They're both the same really. It's, um, you know, it's pudding, it's instant pudding. Someone says cotton candy one, someone says blue one. Two blues, one cotton candy so far. Uh, they look really good. Thank you. I appreciate that. Cotton candy. That's what someone says. Blue. Hmm. So three, four blues and one cotton candy on the vote so far. Blue, blue. Lots of people are saying blue. That's the prettiest one, I think. <laughs> Remember you, Andrew? Yep. Um, whipped cream one. Blue one. Because you just ate it. cotton candy. True. Uh, always better with Cool Whip. That's what someone says. The cotton candy one. Ooh, number two. Hmm. I don't know which one. I'm about ready to dig in. Cotton candy one. A lot of uh, cotton candy is making a comeback. Where did you get the glasses from? I got them from Amazon. And um, when this is all done, I'll put a link to like Amazon to some of the glasses that I used. And you can see them on there. Um, you can also look. I have an Amazon like associates thing where if you click on it, you can see my recommendations. I believe I do have them in there. Um, and it's just like Amazon. I think it's like Shop Amazon, something like that, and with Fun Foods YT at the end. So I think the cotton candy one won. So we got to eat the cotton candy one with Cool Whip. So here we go. We're going to just um, dig in, try to get a couple different colors there. It's all the same flavor, but a couple different colors. Nice. Now, of course, I prefer my pudding to be cold, so you could just put it into the refrigerator, chill it, and if you're going to decorate it, I'd say wait to decorate it, put it in the refrigerator, chill it, bring it out, and then decorate it the top-wise. Yes, Dollar Tree, Dollar Stores have them too. Good point, uh, Tammy. These cups, uh, they're just plastic cups. Dollar Stores have them. Um, I believe Target and Walmart has them too, some of them. Depends if they're the big ones, but uh, they're just like basically little dessert glasses made out of plastic. They also have shot glass ones made out of plastic. Um, they're really good, especially if you're gonna make a dessert that you're gonna bring over to family or friends and they can just throw these out when they're done. They don't have to, you know, redo them. They're very cheap too. So um, even these I wash because I use them all the time, but after a while they break, they crack. They're cheap, but hey, they do the job. They're perfect for making something to bring over to a friend's house or something. That's good. I will be chilling these and eating them much better. There's three Walmarts where you live. Awesome. So, yeah, you can definitely get them at Walmart for sure. So, yep, let me move that. Put that in there. And this is pretty much it, guys. Um, I, as always, I do a live stream every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Usually lasts within an hour. I try to get it done within an hour of time. I try not to go on too long. Uh, so I always make something simple, easy. Um, yeah, so Dollar Trees have them, exactly. Uh, so yeah, thanks everyone for coming on and watching me make these Easter Jello cups, I call them. I don't know what else to call them, but there's just really vanilla Jello that is colored in Easter colors and decorated Easter-wise. But yeah, I hope you all have a great Easter, a uh, good week and a good weekend. And thank you all for coming in and watching and thanks for everything. I really appreciate it. So until then, I will see you guys next time.